there we go hello everyone welcome to soulfully aligned women we are here it is monday morning august 5th and i'm very happy to be here with you today it is my oldest son's anniversary today so sending out uh, a first anniversary for them sending out best wishes to them those two and wishing them many more loving relationship anniversaries in the future so hello say hello when you get here come on in it is monday and um <clears throat> We are in some incredibly powerful energies right now. So I'm going to be pulling some cards for you today. I'm also going to be talking about what this energy is for this week and how you can navigate it to the best of your um, soulful alignment and highest potential. And I also am going to tell you a little bit about what's happening in Soulfully Aligned Women. So here we are monday morning it is uh, a beautiful summer day here and soulfully aligned women uh this week is busy here at the get-go i get to do a beautiful soul retrieval this morning it is always such an incredible honor to be able to do that for someone um, that is something that i do i don't really advertise it people seem to find me when the time is right for them. Um, it's a very big, deep dive into journeying to retrieve, you know, energetic parts of yourself, bringing back your power into this moment right here and right now. And uh, let me see, this afternoon, the mystic, the, the divine feminine mystic, we are meeting at 2 p.m., mountain time and this is our um oh we're doing an incredible activation a very powerful a very sacred activation of the mystic this afternoon uh with isis so i invite you you can still come and join us if you so choose this program is 222 dollars and we are going to be meeting throughout the month of August. We are activating the mystic archetype energies within us. And that is awakening at a cellular level, the soul gifts, the wisdom that you are ready to claim right now. And each of us, it will be different and unique for each of us. So that is happening um, also today so if you decide if you want to come and join us um, then I'm going to invite you just to send me a message even in here uh, and the link is in my Instagram um, link tree it is also in Soulfully Aligned Women our Facebook group and but if you can't find it just just reach out I'm here for you and let me see if you're watching this on YouTube, the link is in the feed. All right. And then tomorrow I meet with our Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystics, the certification group that is almost finished. These guys are finishing up their journey with me and we will begin a new certification group in September. So if this is something that you would like to do, go deep dive into your own soul journey really go deeper than you've ever gone before. Circle up with a group of powerful women, powerful people that are also on this journey. We gather, we talk, we go deeper, we meditate together. There's activations, there's trainings on your intuition, your psychic gifts, how to enhance them, how to go deeper with that. There's also trainings on um, becoming a soulfully aligned mystic in your business and how to bring this out into the world if you choose. So you are, 
everyone kind of develops their own psychic gifts and gets so much clearer about where they want to go with these gifts and how they want to bring this out into the world. And for some, it's a business. For some, it's like, I have a big mission, a big purpose. For others, it's like, no, I'm doing my small circles. I'm good. I'm just circling up or I want this for me. I just want this for me and my family. It, it doesn't matter what level the information you're going to receive in this journey of becoming a certified soulfully aligned creative mystic is incredibly transformational for your life. Transformational? Did I say? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> for your life. And you will be more grounded, more centered, more empowered when you finish this certification. So I am just working on a testimonial video. Looking forward to getting that out for all of you. Uh, but this is starting. So what I why I brought this up is if you are joining the Soulful Aligned Creative Mystic Certification Program in September, you can get the Mystic in August here with me for free. So reach out to me if you're thinking of joining because I have a special deal for you and um, we'll talk. The other thing is, if you are already a Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystic, you get this program for free. And even if you're not certified yet, or you're finishing up your program, or you are just signed in for the new program, you get this for free. Okay, so um, otherwise it is $222. It is very powerful. All right, so I'm pulling cards for us as we go. Now, the topic today, you guys, uh, in the powerful energies that we are in, is basically I'm asking you, what are you accepting in your life? What are you saying, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's good enough in your life when uh, that is not in alignment with your heart, that is not in alignment with your deepest desires? What is it that you're accepting? And you can look at every different aspect of your life. Okay, I've not seen any comments in Facebook. So if you are here, welcome. And thank you for being here. <laughs> um, so we are in a new moon energy. And a new moon is always the most beautiful time to plant our seeds of intention. It's a very powerful time. We're taking our seeds of intentions, we're taking our desires, planting it in the earth, in the deep dark earth, where the moon is dark. Even if you've ever done companion planting um, or, or looked at when is the best time to plant my garden, during a new moon is when you plant your garden. And so new moons are powerful for taking those seeds and keeping them safe and wrapping them in the arms of Mother Earth. And then we are also in the Lion's Gate energy. Now the Lion's Gate energy, the Lion's Gate portal energy opened up around the 26th of July and goes until uh, the 12th of August. And the 8th of August, so the 8th month, 8th day, and we are in an 8th year. So this is what I heard someone call it the, the perfect trifecta or the powerful trifecta right now of energy. We are that that is the peak of the Lion's Gate portal, August 8th. Now, um, we are also yesterday when we had our new moon uh, energy come in uh, in Mercury retrograde. So these that's the triple trifecta. And um, Mercury retrograde can really help us see where it is that we're out of alignment, where it is that we are accepting when it's not what we truly desire, when it's not what our heart is calling out to us, but we're saying, okay, I'll just take this. Now, if you got my Monday morning uh, email, you will see that I shared in there some areas that became very clear to me over the last month, basically, not even the last month, two and a half weeks, 
since I went on my trip, we went down the coast of Oregon and we traveled in through Northern California to Mount Shasta. It became very clear to me where I was out of alignment, what I was accepting that was not in alignment with what I was asking for, with what I was saying to the universe. This is what I desire. This is what I want to create in my life. And yet I was accepting a lower standard. And so it was in those moments, I had this great epiphany energy moving moment down in Mount Shasta where I was like, oh my gosh, I just became very clear about what it is that I am accepting that is not in alignment with what I am desiring. And I'm like, okay, no more, no more. I am raising the bar. I am, I am elevating my standards. I am saying this is no longer acceptable what I've been receiving. I expect more. See, the universe doesn't hold back from us. It's what are we accepting? What are we willing to, to actually receive? What are we willing to receive? What are you willing to receive? Okay. So I have some cards for you. And so in this energy of Mercury retrograde, in this energy of the new moon, and in this energy of the Lionsgate portal, we have a potential for powerful creating right now. Powerful creating. The Lionsgate portal is an opening. It's the thinning of the veil. It's an opportunity for you to put your intentions in, to give all of your, uh, your intentions and your desires a big push forward. And being in the new moon, as well as being in Lionsgate portal, it's just a, such a powerful lineup for us of being able to go deeper, go bigger. And so there's also so many other planets lined up that are helping us with the divine feminine that is rising up within us, powerful divine feminine energy in this whole scenario also. So that energy is helping us go deeper into our soul, go deeper into the connection, the relationship with our soul. And this is perfect for what we're doing in Soulfully Aligned Women this month. So if you, if it's a good time to go deep into the mystical wisdom. All right, this last card is being very stubborn. It is not coming out for us. So I'm just going to, out of this small group that pull, that fell out of the deck, I'm going to pull a card here for us. I'm going to use my little bit of energy here in my hand. This is something that I that we learn also in the certification program is how to use cards and how to feel energy. There's this one here. Okay, so we have three cards here that are that are our cards. Oh my gosh, this card has been coming up a lot lately. And I've been seeing it um, actually being pulled online and it also came up at a retreat for another woman. This is the card and I'm using Kyle Gray's card, cards this, this morning, Angels and Ancestors, the Oracle card deck by Kyle Gray. But this card is representing your strength and this is the card of the night and this is so so appropriate because what i see for women in our strength is the strength to be able to do what needs to be done regardless of how we are feeling so the knight here is uh he'll he works for the king he he will do the king or the queen's request he protects her he will go and fight whatever she says he'll go and do it because he is the knight and that is his honor and his integrity that takes him there and on this card he has a little tear coming down out of his eye that's representing the fact that no matter um sometimes you don't really agree or you don't it hurts your heart 
but you're going to go forward anyways and do what needs to be done because you know that's what you need to do. And as a woman, we take care of other people. We protect them, our family, our children. We nurture them. We care for them. And we, this is our strength of nurturance. Women check all around you. And I was just talking to my daughter about this the other day. It's like, you know, when you leave the kids with dad, half the stuff doesn't get done. They go to school. They may be missing parts of their lunch. They got dirty clothes on or mismatched socks or, you know, something's missing out of the backpack. When they go to school from mom, everything's in order. Everything's in there because mom is constantly aware of what others need. So this is a strength for you. You constantly know what other people need and you are there for them. Keep it in balance. Keep it in balance. We don't need to be taking care of other people necessarily as much as we do. We need to allow them to have their experiences and step back. But this is a strength for you. Now, the cards, the next card is a heart card. This is, this is what your heart wants you to know. And this card is such a beautiful card. It is the guardian card, the guardian angel card. And it is saying you are not alone. You are not alone. And so your heart, your heart card wants you to know you're not alone. Because sometimes when we're being brave and honest and we're doing all the things that we need to do, as mom, as caretaker, as, you know, the hub of the wheel in the family, or perhaps it's at work, perhaps it's in relationships, whatever it is, know that you are not alone. And so your heart wants you to know that you can reach out for guidance, reach out. And that is actually leads right into this card which is a card, which is a card of, okay, well, what are you struggling with right now? And this is the mountain card. And the mountain card is a card of being grounded. And when you look at, you know, what's going on in the world uh, for all of us, it's very hard to be looking at that 3D. And we get caught up in that 3D world. And so the cards are really guiding you into you know, go within, go within, find your center, go into your soul, into your heart, get yourself grounded into the earth and stand your ground is what it's saying. So there's twofold meaning here. So one is like getting yourself grounded and rooted in, in your power. This is where you find your power. And the other one is if you're in a situation that is a little bit of a struggle right now, listen to your intuition and stand your ground. Stay there. So perhaps that message is coming for some of you of just being very centered, empowered in that center and, um, and don't waver. Just stay there. Don't let the outside external circumstances change you. That's all... You know, they say it's all an illusion. It's not necessarily real. Feels real, but um, there is another whole dimension that is where we receive our power, where we receive our healing, where we receive our support, our wisdom, our guidance, our inspiration. That is there too. And so that is your cards for the week. Um, so if you are in a situation, when I look at these two cards, this could be a struggle. So, so being brave and honest and standing your ground, you know, hmm, interesting, right? So, um, very, very powerful week to be going within, to be setting our intentions about what it is that we want. <laughs> be brave and strong to ask for what you want and raise the bar, elevate the standards, and stand your ground. You deserve the best. You deserve what it is your heart is calling out for. So lots of meanings in those three cards for us today. All right, I think it's time for us to settle into our meditation. And 
Um, oh, yes. Hello, Jill. Good morning. I'm so glad I can see your comment now. Lovely, lovely. All right. I'm going to invite you to come in and settle in. Maybe perhaps light your candle. Turn on your beautiful, quiet music in the background and join me as we see what comes through for us today. Okay. So closing your eyes, taking in some big, long, deep breaths, breathing in through your nose. And letting go. At your own pace. I don't know if you can hear my little Jack snoring in the background, but that is him. Beautiful. Just let everything go. Coming inward. Turning your focus inward. And as you settle in with those long, slow, deep breaths, when you've had enough, come back to your normal breathing pattern and bring your awareness into your heart. Coming in to the heart space, to the place of stillness, to the place of peace. And just sink into that place in your heart. Imagine a beautiful, soft sanctuary within your heart. Whatever that looks like for you. A place where you go, that you go to, to get closer to your soul. To invite your soul to come in more the higher wisdom of yourself, the soul part of you. Let it come in to this place in your heart, this soft sanctuary of peace. Imagine you're cuddling up on the couch or the sofa with your soul, taking time for you, time to reconnect, time to Listen, to be, to feel. And it feels like coming home. It feels so good. It feels safe and secure, protected. And here you are circled up with your soul while the world goes on around us. But here you are in the heart of your heart, in the seat of your soul. And just imagine what that would feel like. Breathe into that. Settle in a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Opening up to this part of you, this vulnerable, sacred space within you. And as you feel that grow and expand, see it as a beautiful light growing in your heart space, a beautiful 
sphere of light that is protecting you. You are within it. Bring all of you into this safe space. Bring all of your focus, all of your point of perception, your consciousness. Bring it all in to this sacred space. Bring all of it in. Don't let any of it out. Don't let your mind wander. Don't let energy leak. Bring it all into your heart, into this sanctuary where you are circled up with your soul, within your soul, merging with that beautiful light. And as you feel yourself fully merge with that light, feel it grow down, a beautiful channel of light going down straight through your body, down deep into Mother Earth, to the heart of Mother Earth, and feel that connection as soon as you feel it. It sinks everything up. You feel grounded. You feel supported. You feel the Mother Earth love there for you. You're anchored in. You are receiving her love. And let that support, that love, that nurturance come up, right up into your heart, into your beautiful sphere of light where you are aligned with your soul, merged with your soul. And now see that light reach up, that channel of light go all the way up into the universe. Keep reaching up, up, up into the heart of the source, of the I am source. And as you do that, a beautiful lotus flower emerges at the top of that channel and opens up in the heart of the universe and then that beautiful light flows down through the core of that lotus flower coming down let it flow down into your heart let it flow down deeper to the heart of the mother earth And here you are, like a seed pod, merged with your soul in your heart in that beautiful sphere of light that looks like a beautiful seed connected above and below. And here is where you want to. Speak to your heart. Allow your higher wisdom to come in and guide you with your intentions. Guide you into your heart's desires. To create powerful creations while you are here on earth. Imagine yourself within this seed, within this egg. What is growing within you? What is ready to be birthed out into the world around you? You want to spend time here in your heart, in this 
womb space of your heart, a seed, an egg, a womb, all of it is a sacred portal of creation. Imagine what it is your heart is calling out to you for. And when you get clear on your intentions, when you have aligned with this higher wisdom of yourself and you're clear with your intentions of what it is that you want to create, we will shift. So take a minute here first. And think about what are your intentions for this week in this powerful, creative, energetic portal that we are in. When you're super clear and you can write it down in a clear intention, then we will take that seed, that egg, and move it down from our heart, down into our womb space. And this is your creative portal. So see that beautiful light, that beautiful orb with your seeds of intention. Move down into your womb. And allow it here to grow until it is ready to be birthed out to the world. And keep bringing your awareness to this beautiful creation that you are a part of in your womb space. Keep bringing it beautiful, vibrant energy, the beautiful orange, yellow, and reds energies of creation. See it growing. Set your intentions. Move forward. Take steps in your life for this to be happening, to prepare just as you would prepare for a baby, the birth of a baby. Prepare for your dreams. Prepare for your creations physically in the world around you. Okay, let's take another minute before we start to come back. This is a beautiful meditation that you can do all week for each individual desire or intention. You can do this meditation for each one each intentional creation that you are going to manifest into this world. Align first with your higher wisdom, with the guidance that is there for you in your heart, and then state your intention, and then bring it down into your womb, and then prepare. So begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, 
stretch. Mm. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here with me this morning. And I hope you enjoy this meditation and keep using it through the week. And I will see you next Monday. Next Mondays will be recorded and put in because I am away that day. So I'm going to do a recording and plunk it in for you next week so that you have next week's energy and you know how to navigate it. Um, if you decide you want to come and join in the certification program or in the, the Divine Feminine Mystic for this month, reach out to me and I will get you the link. All right. Love you all and have a beautiful day. Bye for now.